Hi everyone, Mary here. Welcome to my channel. So I'm so excited today. I'm finally going to start on this bathroom project I've been talking about. So we always talk about someday doing a complete bathroom remodel, but for now I'm just going to stick with uh, painting the cabinets and the walls and the ceiling. So I'm going to go a little wild with the floor in here, guys. I don't know if any of you ever painted floors or not, but I've seen tutorials online where people do that. I haven't even told my husband about this. I'm just crossing my fingers. He'll love it, which usually he's okay with my many wild you know, projects, thankfully. Uh, but this floor is like a vinyl uh, peel and stick, and it's... I just think it, you know, it's not really glossy or hard like a tile floor would be, so I feel if people can paint tile floors and they're okay, surely I'd be okay with painting this vinyl that it wouldn't come off. And what I did is I made a few stencils using my Silhouette Cameo. Um, I have plans to, you know, stencil the separate squares in here. And the reason I made two of them is that way I can start on a couple areas here without, you know, waiting on drying time. So follow along as I work on this and hopefully everything will turn out. Um, I'm trying, you know, a few new things that I've never really done before. So uh, just crossing my fingers will work out. So I'm planning on using these little rollers by Best Look or Do It Best. Uh, they are a just a four inch roller for a semi-smooth surface. The paint I'll be using is Kills Chalk Paint. Uh, the dark one is called Toasted Poppy Seed and the light one is called White. And I'll be putting the dark down first. So I did a few stencils in the closet just to see how it would go and I wasn't really impressed with it. I used these, um, it's actually stencil material that I you know, took, used my Silhouette Cameo to cut out 
And of course, they're not sticky on the other side, so it kind of, the paint wanted to bleed underneath the stencil. So what I'm doing now is I just ended up using contact paper like I do for, you know, signs or um, other projects I've done already, and that works great. It'll take some, some time with, you know, doing a stencil. I can just, I can use a stencil only once, so I need to cut out a lot of stencils, but it does an amazing job. I don't have to do a lot of touch-up. So as you can probably imagine, this project took a lot of time. I actually ended up cutting out around a hundred stencils. And as I worked on this, you know, I became a little smarter, I believe. I probably should have just cut out all the stencils, did all that weeding, and then put them all down at one time instead of trying to do, you know, the separate squares with all that separate masking. I'm not sure why I even thought I had to do that, but as I was about halfway through the project I began to put them, you know, place the stencils more like side by side and I believe that would have saved me some time but I guess with anything you learn as you go and to me it's it took a lot of time but it was well worth it. I love the floor. Okay so here I am a couple weeks later from actually painting this floor. I had some things come up that I could not get to finishing this and it did take a whole lot longer than I had expected. It took me a good three to four days to finish this. Of course, I wasn't just working nonstop, but um, it was, yeah, it took me a lot longer than I had anticipated, but I am loving it uh, so far, and it's really been holding out well to think that it doesn't even have the top coat that I'm planning on putting on here yet. Uh, so now my next step is uh, just touching up here and there. I have a few spots where you know, the black and the white, you know, kind of um, are, you know, smudged around or whatever, and I want to touch that up and just give it a good cleaning, and then I'll be applying a, a few coats of this uh, polycrylic as a top coat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you don't think I'm too crazy here to actually paint um, our bathroom floor but honestly so far I just love it and it seems to be holding out really well. 
I am still not quite finished with the bathroom, so I will be posting more videos on what I'm doing in that room. So stay tuned for that. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!